Did Joseph Smith visit brothels? Well, according to one of the Twelve Apostles' wives, Sarah Pratt, he did. In the book Mormon Portraits, published in 1886, Sarah Pratt tells a few stories about Joseph Smith. I have told you that the prophet Joseph used to frequent houses of ill fame. Mrs. White, a very pretty and attractive woman, once confessed to me that she made a business of it, to be hospitable to the captains of the Mississippi steamboats. She told me that Joseph made her acquaintance very soon after his arrival in Nauvoo, and that he had visited her dozens of times. My husband, Orson Pratt, could not be induced to believe such things of his prophet. Seeing his obstinate incredulity, Mrs. White proposed to Mr. Pratt and myself to put us in a position where we could observe what was going on between herself and Joseph the prophet. We, however, declined this proposition. She also goes on to say, You have made a mistake in the table of contents of your book, calling this woman Mrs. Harris. Mrs. Harris was a married lady, a very good friend of mine. When Joseph made his dastardly attempt on me, I went to Mrs. Harris to unbosom my grief to her. To my utter astonishment, she said, laughing heartily, How foolish you are. I don't see anything so horrible in it. Why, I am his mistress since four years. Mrs. Harris is Lucinda Pendleton Harris, Joseph Smith's second plural wife. Evidently, Joseph proposed polygamy to Sarah Pratt sometime in 1842, because Joseph and Lucinda were married in 1838. Sarah Pratt goes on to say, Next door to my house was a house of bad reputation. One single woman lived there, not very attractive. She used to be visited by people from Carthage when they came to Nauvoo. Joseph used to come on horseback, ride up to the house and tie his horse to a tree, many of which stood before the house. Then he would enter the house of the woman from the back. I have seen him do this repeatedly.